Plazit Polygal, the plastic sheets experts. Before installing Topgal standing seam panels, ensure you follow the recommended installation instructions or consult with your local professional. Plazit Polygal also offers technical assistance for your convenience as well. Remember, improper installation can ultimately result in an unsightly and unsafe roofing project. Now let's go ahead and get started. First, ensure you have everything you need for your installation project, which should include top gal panels, connectors, suitable stainless steel anchors, plugs for the connector ends, adhesive sealing vent tape, end profiles, and stainless steel screws. Plan your installation so that all preliminary work is completed before you begin installing the panels on your structure. This will ultimately save time, money, and is good safety practice overall. If you need to store the top gal panels and the profiles for any length of time before installation, make sure that they are not exposed to direct sunlight. In the top gal system, the side with the connector teeth is called the toothed side, and the side opposite is the flat side. Sometimes only one side of the top gal panel is protected against the effects of ultraviolet radiation. Pay attention to the marking. The protected side of the panel is covered with a special protective film bearing the Plazit Polygal logo or with a protective film that has a strip with the appropriate marking. The panel should always be installed so the side with the ultraviolet protection is facing out. If you are installing the Topgal system on a curved structure, make sure that the cold bending radius of the panels is within the specified limits. You can obtain this information from your distributor when purchasing the Topgal or get it directly from Plazit Polygal's Technical Support Center. Before starting installation, remove the protective film from the inner surface of the panel. Topgal panels can easily be cut and shaped with ordinary woodworking tools. Always wear eye protection when working with power tools and cutting Topgal panels. Cut the panels to the desired length. Many times, this can be performed on the ground prior to installation. Cuts to a depth of about one inch should be made at the ends of each panel at the base of each of the connecting teeth. Seal the ends of the panel using adhesive vent sealing tape in order to prevent dust, debris, and moisture from entering the panel flutes. Small holes should be drilled in advance in the aluminum end profiles every 12 to 15 inches to allow water to drain effectively. On roofing projects where top gull is installed, there should be a minimum slope of not less than 5%. This is very important to allow for proper runoff and roof drainage. Panels should be placed on the underlying structure in such a way that the internal ribs of the panel are parallel to the slope of the roof. This is essential for natural drainage of moisture from the flutes in the panel. During installation, the panels should be aligned with the uppermost end line of the underlying structure and squared up. The panel should project outwards over the line of the outermost structural beam. Avoid stepping on the panels while working on the installation. This could be dangerous and may damage the panels. The first panel should be installed just shy of the end of the structure. It should be about one inch short to allow installation of the anchor and the side profile. In order to avoid lateral movement of the panels after installation, special stainless steel anchors should be used on the first and last joists of each panel the two end joists. The connecting tooth of the panel should be cut by hand with a saw to allow for a proper fit to a depth of about one quarter inch. And the tooth should then be fitted into the slot in the anchor. The anchors should be firmly fixed in place using two screws at all points where the panel comes into contact with the beams of the underlying structure. After the anchors and the end profiles are in place, the first connector can be installed. Put the next panel in place and tighten the anchors on the opposite side. Then connect the two panels with the connector. Repeat this operation in the same sequence, installing the panels, anchors and connectors until the roofing installation is complete. After the last panel has been installed, add the aluminum end profiles. 
the top side of the end profile must fit into the cut that was made previously, next to the base of the panel connectors. Now, the plugs can be installed at the ends of the connected profiles. The last step of the installation process is the removal of the protective film from the panels. Do not leave the protective film on the panels for an extended period of time, as it will become virtually impossible to remove. Finally, if the proper installation procedures are followed, you will have a long-lasting, attractive and secure system for many years to come. For additional inquiries about the correct installation of TopGal or other Plazit PolyGal products, please contact the company's local distributor for professional advice or call the company's technical support department. Plazit PolyGal, the plastic sheets experts.